Cranking on Google Maps does not take months anymore. It really only takes a couple of weeks. And I've done this consistently with my SEO clients from the seven figure agency I've been running for 10 years. Here is what most agencies won't tell you. They're still using 2009 tactics in a 2025 AI world, which is why their clients wait months for results. Whereas mine see top three rankings in a couple of weeks. So let me tell you about a plumber in Berkeley, California, who completely changed my own perspective on how fast local SEO can work. When he first came to me, he was ranking number six on Google Maps for Plumber Berkeley, which basically meant he was invisible. His phone wasn't ringing and he was watching competitors with worse reviews get all the calls. Now, 14 days later, he jumped from position 6.1 to 3.3 on the local map. His phone started ringing immediately and he's now booking jobs faster than he can handle them. Now, I'm over here on the screen share because I've noticed in the comments, some of you aren't believing when I tell you that we're getting local SEO results. Usually I show this on a screenshot, but for this one, I decided to do a screen share so you can see the exact rank map I'm talking about live. So for this particular one, you can see we are Friday, April 18th of 2025. This is Berkeley, California. I'm not gonna show you the client, but if we fast forward to Friday, May 2nd, that's two weeks later, we're at 3.3. And if we fast forward two weeks after that, May 9th, we're at 3.0. And we can keep seeing that we're maintaining this rank position largely in the top three across most of Berkeley, California with very minimal additional work. Okay, so how did we pull this off in just a couple of weeks? It comes down to three AI powered systems that a lot of agencies out there have never even heard of. But before I show you those systems, I want you to understand why 99% of local businesses are sabotaging their own rankings without even knowing it. So here's what I see when I audit a new client's Google business profile. And this is probably going to come as a surprise for you. Most of the local businesses I look at have one category selected. When Google lets you choose up to 10, they have maybe three services. When they should have 20 or 30 or 40, half of the boxes are empty. They never bother to fill them out. They don't enter holiday hours and they wonder why they're not ranking. Now, most agencies would spend 45 minutes manually going through each section, taking notes, creating spreadsheets. And that's exactly what I used to do until we created a systematic approach. Now, here's the thing about AI. Everyone thinks that ChatGPT can audit a Google business profile for you. But when you actually ask it to audit a Google business profile, it largely just makes things up. Now, I've tested this dozens of times. And when challenged, the AI, ChatGPT, will admit that it uses heuristics to generate the analysis. Now, that's just a really fancy way of saying it makes everything up. So instead, I typically use a free tool called GMB Everywhere that actually pulls real data from the GBP and recommends additional categories and services. Even better is if you have backend access, manager access to the GBP. So I'm gonna do a quick screen share to show you exactly how this works. And I'm gonna put the exact Google document that my team still uses today to audit every single client GBP, whether they're a $1,000 a month client or $10,000 a month. Okay, so here is my school community and I'm gonna come down. It's in draft now, but I'm going to publish it before this video goes live. And it is the GBP review document. And here is what that looks like. As I mentioned, this is the exact same GBP review document that we use with all of our new clients. So this note here is to the client itself. And then beyond that, we're just going to go through a series of things that my team is going to look at for every new GBP to make sure that client's GBP is fully optimized before we start diving into their website. This takes less than a half hour and it does have a significant impact on a lot of clients that we've done this for. Honestly, fixing the Google business profile, it's just the foundation because even a perfect Google business profile is not going to rank without this one missing piece that 90% of agencies ignore. And that missing piece is why that plumber in Berkeley was stuck at position six, even though his GBP was decent. The real problem was hiding on his website. And it's probably hiding on your client's website too. But I can't show you how to fix it until you understand what Google is actually looking for when it decides who is going to rank in the top three for a local search. So Google wants to see perfect consistency between your Google business profile and your website. If you say you do drain cleaning on your GVP, but there's no mention of drain cleaning, no drain cleaning page on your website, Google doesn't trust that you actually do that service. But here's where it gets worse. Most local businesses have their Google business profile pointing to a homepage that's completely generic. No mention of their city, no mention of specific services, just bland corporate speak that
that could apply to any business anywhere. This is the type of content that ChatGPT will generate if you ask it to write content for Plumber Berkeley and no further information. So that Plumber in Berkeley, his homepage said things like, we provide quality plumbing services. And this basically tells Google nothing about what he does or where he actually does it. Now this fix is simple, but it can take three or four hours to optimize a single landing page without AI. So here's how I do it in 10 or 15 minutes using the second system I mentioned. And this is where AI actually goes to work. So let me show you what this looks like. So once we get to Page Optimizer Pro, the first thing that we're going to do is create a new project. And then we're just going to enter the domain. I'll blur it out, but here's the domain name we're going to enter. And then we're gonna do a new on-page optimization. And we'll do for the target keyword, we'll do plumber Berkeley and page name, we'll just do plumber and we'll get it to start the analysis. So when it finishes running, Running, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see the target keyword. You're going to see the word count, which here is 1155 versus a target of 1470. Now these targets are based on the analysis of the existing pages that are ranking. So what we want to do is produce content that's similar enough to what's already ranking so that Google knows what you're trying to actually rank for, what your content is about. So we know we need a little bit more content, but our overall optimization is pretty low here, 69.7. And this is the Berkeley website. So we don't need to target 100% here. But most of the time when we run this for a brand new client, this optimization score is less than 40%. But just to give you an idea of the guidance this tool gives, we know that we should be using fewer bold tags, we're good on italic, we should have fewer images, we should have fewer lists. I certainly wouldn't go through and remove these types of features unless I was really struggling to rank, but that's just to give you an idea. We also have this LSI and variation. So this is giving us how many times we're using different keywords and what the target is. So if we were struggling ranking, we would come in and edit the content so that it matched these target frequencies. And we can give all of this data in an Excel sheet to AI and ask it to rewrite this for us with these target in mind. Now, again, we don't try to hit 100% every time. You can see this one was just below 70% and it's ranking great. So we're going to structure the page with H2 headings for each one of the secondary categories that we have on the GBP. And we're going to include two or three of their most important services also on that GBP landing page. But here's the key. Those LSI keywords should be used naturally throughout the content so Google sees exactly what it's looking for. Now the content doesn't sound like AI wrote it. It's going to read natural, include local references, and actually help people understand what the business does. Before AI, this kind of optimization would take three or four hours per page. Now we can crank it out in 10 minutes or less. But even with this perfect landing page, you're still missing the biggest piece of the puzzle because that's just one page and Google wants to see authority across your entire website. So that is where the core 30 analysis comes in. And this is the system that separates a six figure or above agency from everyone else struggling to hit 2K per month. So here's what the core 30 analysis actually does and why I call it the difference between agencies that scale and agencies that struggle. So remember how I said that plumber had only three services on his GBP? Well, we're we're going to increase that to 30 or 40, but Google is going to see a mismatch. His website isn't going to have a page for every single service. So Google might be confused, think he's lying about what he actually does. Why would he have services on the GBP, but not on his website? The core 30 analysis fixes this by identifying exactly what pages are missing and which ones to build first. But here's the problem a lot of agencies are going to run into. They're going to tell the AI to audit the website and recommend missing pages. This is a huge huge mistake. AI doesn't actually crawl the websites very accurately. And yet again, when I ask it about this, AI just makes things up and calls them heuristics. So instead, to get an accurate analysis, I use Screaming Frog to export the actual website structure and then feed that real data into ChatGPT along with the client's GBP categories and services. So we're going to start with Screaming Frog. This is a free tool for up to 500 URLs, which largely means it's going to be a free tool for most of your local clients. We're going to put the URL here and hit start. Then it's going to crawl. Now we need a couple of files here. We need internal all. So we'll make sure internal and all are selected and then we'll hit export. And then we need links all. So we're going to click on links, make sure all is selected. And then we're going to export that. And now we're going to come over here and grab my prompt for analysis. So here's the prompt. You can see the data inputs. We have links all and internal all for screaming frog. We have the GBP categories and services and the analysis goals. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this prompt and give it to Claude. Typically,
Typically, I prefer Claude to ChatGPT, but use whichever one you prefer. And for this type of data analysis, I'm going to suggest Claude Opus and not Sonnet. We use Sonnet for writing content and Opus for doing data analysis. So let me grab those two files. Here you have links all and internal all. And then we'll just have Claude run the analysis for us. Okay, and here's the analysis it gives me where it's identifying a lot of these missing pages and category gaps in the GBP. So with that prompt, the AI tells us exactly what pages are missing and we'll even rank them by priority based on search volume and competition. It spots missing service pages immediately and creates a roadmap for the next 30 days of content creation. But here's where it gets really smart. We can also run this rank map tool that I showed you, Local Dominator, to see where they're not ranking. Then we can use another AI prompt to decide whether we need more topical content, geographical content, or service specific content based on what the rank map shows. If they're ranking close to their address, but nowhere else, we can focus on geographic content targeting nearby neighborhoods. If they're not ranking for specific services, we'll build out those service pages first. The AI can make this decision for me in just a couple of minutes, instead of my spending hours analyzing the rank data. We're going to come back to Local Dominator, and I'm going to grab the most recent one and I'm going to grab the click here to grab the CSV and download it. Then we're going to come on over to the local SEO content prioritization prompt and I'll copy that. I'll give the prompt over to Claude and I will give that file I just downloaded. There's that CSV file and again with Claude Opus I'll have it run the analysis. Okay so here is the analysis that it's outputting which neighborhoods and what priority score we have to produce this content. So between these two prompts we have months worth of content or just weeks depending on how quickly and how much content you're going to produce on a regular basis. And this type of content is how we're going to build the geographical and topical relevance that Google is looking for to rank you in the top three. But content without authority is just words on a page that Google will never trust. And that's where a lot of agencies get stuck for months, trying to build trust the old way. And don't get me wrong, building trust is just SEO speak for building links. There's a faster method that builds authority in days instead of months, and it's the third system that I mentioned way back at the beginning. So here's the authority trust building acceleration system that makes everything work and why most agencies are doing link building completely backwards. Now local link building is actually two separate parts. First, you need basic external links to signal to Google that your content isn't AI slop. Last summer's helpful content update tried to basically stop low quality AI content from dominating search results. So now no links means Google thinks you're publishing garbage. So with that in mind, every single new page we create gets at least one external link to pass Google's basic quality filter test. Now these aren't amazing high quality links. They're just signals that the content is real. While other agencies are chasing generic directory listings, my clients are sponsoring local festivals and nine-year-old softball teams. These hyper-local links build massive trust with Google because they prove you're actually embedded in the community. So here's the exciting part. I have a ChatGPT prompt that's going to find these local sponsorship opportunities automatically. The AI identifies youth sports leagues, local events, and community organizations that need sponsors in your client's exact area. But here's what separates this from everything else you probably tried. AI doesn't just find these opportunities. It's going to create a priority list on the next five to 10 links. We should focus on earning to expand our rank radius month after month. We're not just ranking and stopping. We're systematically expanding our footprint until we dominate the entire market. So here's the prompt again in my school community. If you don't want to pay, it's not a free community. If you don't want to pay for it, no problem. Just freeze frame and you can grab all of these prompts that way. So I'll come back over to Claude. I put it in ahead of time because I didn't want to wait for it to run. So I'll just scroll down and show you the output. And here we go. It's organizing by which links we should seek out first, whether they're paid, whether they're freed. It's sorted different categories, events, local media outlets, local organizations, community groups. These types of powerful hyperlocal links really move the needle in terms of building trust with Google and driving that rank position up. And that brings me to the secret that keeps clients paying us for years instead of jumping ship after 90 days. Because ranking fast is one thing, but keeping those rankings while your competitors are all trying to catch up, that's where a lot of agencies fail. So there's one more piece to this system that I haven't told you about yet. And here's the secret to why this keeps working month after month after month and why a lot of clients stay with 
my agency for years instead of jumping ship as soon as they're ranked. Now, most agencies, once they get a client ranked, they coast. They think the job is done. But Google's algorithm is constantly changing and your competitors are constantly trying to catch up. So if you're not systematically expanding your client's footprint every single month, you're going backwards. So that's where the momentum system comes in. Remember that ChatGPT prompt I mentioned that analyzes our local dominator rank map data? It doesn't just tell us what content to create. It tells us exactly what to prioritize based on where we're ranking and where we're not ranking. So the AI is going to be looking at these ranking gaps. It's going to identify new neighborhoods to target and spot service pages that could push us into completely new markets. We're not just maintaining rankings, we're also aggressively expanding them to build that topical relevance and authority beyond that small radius around the GVP address. That plumber in Berkeley, after we got him to position three in 14 days, we sort of took a break from it, but we kept an eye on his rank maps. And each time we saw one of the dots turn yellow, we'd produce geographic content for that spot. Overall workload was way down versus what it took to get them to rank initially, but we didn't just walk away. This systematic method is why clients see our work as an investment that keeps playing bigger dividends every month instead of a cost that they're trying to minimize. But here's the thing, none of this matters if you don't have clients to rank in the first place. The biggest mistake I see new agency owners make is perfecting their delivery before they master client acquisition. You could have the best ranking system in the world, but if you're still struggling to land clients consistently, you're leaving money on the table every single day. So in this next video, I'm going to walk you through my five-step method to land 10 local SEO clients every month without making cold calls or sending awkward messages. Because once you combine this client acquisition system with this AI ranking workflow, you'll have everything you need to build a six-figure agency.